Donald Trump is destroying our country and everything we care about. That I am here tonight is a testament to the dedication of generations before me. We are witnessing the tragic consequences of our failing health care system. In the midst of a pandemic, nearly a hundred million Americans do not have sufficient health insurance. My dad was a healthy 65-year-old. His only pre-existing condition was trusting Donald Trump, and for that, he paid with his life. America needs all of us to speak out, even when you have to fight to find the words. I take powerful people up on my elevator all the time. When they get off, they go to their important meetings. Me, I just head back to the lobby. But in the short time I spent with Joe Biden, I could tell he really saw me, that he actually cared, that my life meant something to him. And I knew, even when he went into his important meeting, he'd take my story in there with him. How do you make a broken family whole? The same way you make a nation whole with love and understanding, and with small acts of kindness. For George Floyd, for Breonna Taylor, for the lives of too many others to name, for our children, and for all of us. We've got to do the work to fulfill that promise of equal justice under law. Because here's the thing, none of us are free until all of us are free. Here and now, I give you my word. If you entrust me with the presidency, I will draw on the best of us, not the worst. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. It's time for us, for we the people, to come together. I did hope, for the sake of our country, that Donald Trump might show some interest in taking the job seriously. That he might come to feel the weight of the office and discover some reverence for the democracy that had been placed in his care but he never did. Whenever we look to this White House for some leadership or consolation or any semblance of steadiness, what we get instead is chaos. But if he had put his own interests and ego aside, seen the humanity in a child ripped from her parents at the border or a protester calling for justice or a family wiped out by natural disaster, that would have been a good thing for America and the world. I wish Donald Trump knew how to be a president. Many of us have been deeply concerned about the current path we've been following for the past four years. It's a path that's led to division, dysfunction, irresponsibility, and growing vitriol between our citizens. What a difference it will make to have a president who unites us, who restores our strength and our soul. Donald Trump is destroying our country and everything we care about. We need leaders who will solve problems like climate change and COVID, not deny them. Where are they going? Where are these ballots going? Who's getting them? Who is not getting them? A little section that's Republican. Will they be stolen from mailboxes as they get put in by the mailman? Will they be taken from the mailmen and the mailwomen? Will they be forged? Who is signing them? Who's signing them? What, are they signed at a kitchen table and sent in? Will they be counterfeited by groups inside our nation? Tonight, I couldn't be prouder to be a loyal union member, a passionate climate activist, and a patriotic Democrat. Or as Donald Trump will call me in a tweet tomorrow, a washed up horse face, no talent has been with low ratings. Well, with all due respect, sir, it takes one to know one.